with me as I get ready for a photo shoot tomorrow, as well as a little behind the scenes look of what it's like to be a commercial model. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angeline and we talk all things wellness, fitness, self-care, and how I fit it into my schedule as a mom of two kids. Now I have a photo shoot book for tomorrow, which is very exciting. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you know that I am a commercial model here in Canada. And I did want to bring you along with me because preparation for a photo shoot does start a few days before. But stay tuned for a behind the scenes look because I will bring you along with me on the shoot tomorrow so you can get a glimpse of what it's like. All right, so I've been modeling for many years since I was a teenager, it's been almost 20 years. And I used to do more high fashion when I was a teenager, but now that I'm in my late 30s, I do more of commercial modeling in Canada, it's mainly in Calgary, Alberta, and I really enjoy it. I've always really enjoyed it. And I do many, many different types of shoots. I think my most favorite type of photo shoot to do is experience type of modeling and the reason being is I get to try a lot of things that maybe generally I wouldn't do. Things like caving, luging, downhill go-karting, lots and lots of fun stuff. Going into the mountains here in Alberta, lots of hiking. It's just such a great time, such great experiences and I really really enjoy doing that. Now with that type of modeling, not always seeing close-ups of my face or hands or neck or anything like that. Sometimes it's very far away usually that type of modeling is to highlight you know the surroundings if it's for travel alberta i'm obviously trying to highlight the surroundings if it's for tourism in calgary it's the surrounding or maybe the activity that i'm partaking in so you're not always seeing my face or at least close-ups of my face. However, I do also do clothing, e-commerce, but also beauty. Now this type of modeling is slightly more stressful leading up to the actual photo shoot because I wanna make sure that I have clear skin, I'm drinking lots of water so that my face doesn't seem very puffy or tired. And I try my best to make sure I'm eating healthy because I'm trying to avoid any type of breakouts or blemishes that I might get because beauty shoots or cosmetic, Clothing it tends to be more close-ups of my hands, of my face, and, and usually commercial modeling, you don't wear a lot of makeup. So appearing as fresh as possible without any type of, you know, Photoshopping, editing, anything like that. So obviously I can't avoid any type of hormonal breakouts or anything like that. In fact, I can see that I do have a blemish coming in right now because of my hormones. So I'm going to try my best to deal with that. Now I'm starting with my hair, definitely want to be going in with clean hair. I don't want to wash my hair the day of the photo shoot because then it gets a little bit harder to style because it doesn't have any of its natural oils. Plus because I have natural curly hair, washing it the day of, it is a little bit frizzy. So I found throughout the years washing it the night before kind of tames some of that frizz as well as holds the curl or whatever they're gonna do a little bit easier. I'm going to go in and just wash my hair and not using any special shampoos or conditioners or anything, just making sure my hair gets really clean so that I'm all set for tomorrow. I am going to apply some white strips while I'm showering just to try to get some of the staining off my teeth. All right, so I'm gonna cut my white strips. This is my hack for using Press white strips if you have sensitive teeth and I'll take my video here so you can take a peek at all my hacks for sensitive teeth. I was actually only able to start using white strips this year when I discovered all of these hacks. So I highly recommend you go and watch that video if you've also been struggling with teeth sensitivity. But even just using this for however long it takes me to wash and blow dry my hair, I do notice a difference for a bit. Okay, so the shower ended up taking a little bit longer than I had initially planned because I totally forgot that I needed to shave my legs. Now for photo shoots, obviously you wanna have your legs groomed, your underarms shaved or waxed. And if I was shooting swim, then I would also want to make sure my bikini is um, groomed as well. So I'm just doing my regular skincare, making sure to wash my face and do my skincare 
after I washed my hair. Now again, I didn't use anything crazy or special in the shower. The shampoo and conditioner I used was the retinol infused youth revival from coco neve the one that i just did a review on i really like it because i feel like my hair always feels super clean i love this coco kind it's the turmeric tonic leave-on spot treatment for clear and bright skin okay i'm just gonna take this out and i find that if i have a blemish forming if i put this on by the next day it's just completely gone so i'm just gonna put this on the couple spots that i feel like i have forming Kind of all related to my hormones and i'm going to moisturize my skin really well after shaving and then i'm going to blow dry my hair i don't want to be putting any products in my hair like i said but i am going to put in a heat protectant before i blow dry because although a lot of the hairdressers i work with are really good at applying heat protectant before they actually style my hair just want to make sure i have that protection in place so that they're not frying my hair depending on what it is that they are going to be doing it to it tomorrow just want to make sure i have that heat protectant in place but i'm not going to put on any other product no like oils or anything like that because I want to make sure it's product free so that it looks fresh for whatever they need to be doing to it tomorrow. Now the thing about being a commercial model is that they don't want any type of, what's the word I want to use here, fakeness. <laughs> so no eyelash extensions, no lip filler, no fake nails, nothing like that. They always will put on the call sheet, you know, be sure you don't have fake nails, be sure you don't have eyelash extensions because obviously that's not the vibe they're going for. I mean, unless obviously you're shooting for like an eyelash brand, they definitely don't want you to be looking some type of way. That's why when you see me in my videos, I've often talked about how I'm not big on getting my nails done. With my luck, I go and pay for a manicure pedicure and then the next day I book a shoot and I have to remove it all anyway. So it just seems like a waste of money. And then if you've seen my skincare video, you know that I don't have any type of Botox filler or anything like that. So trying to keep things natural so that I present as a late thirties commercial model. Sometimes I can shoot for, um, you know, someone that's in their twenties, depending on what the client is looking for. But yeah, generally I keep things as fresh as possible. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that I drink lots of water so that tomorrow I don't look puffy under, uh, in my under eyes or in my face. I also wanna make sure that I go to sleep with lots of moisturizer on my hands and feet so that my hands look nice and moisturized tomorrow. But other than that, I think we're good to go for tomorrow and I'm excited to bring you guys along. Good night and I'll see you tomorrow. to my children a little bit but it's time for me to get going because I have a 9 a.m. call time downtown so I do need to leave my house probably around 8 15 because of traffic headed into downtown so I'm going to pop in the shower and you can see that my blemish that I had is definitely going down honestly I swear by this uh, turmeric tonic from Coco Kind it's amazing. Um, I'll also show you what other skincare I use to try to make sure I keep a clear complexion so that the drop of a hat, I'm ready to go for a photo shoot. All right, gonna pop in the shower, moisturize, and I'll be back. 
Okay, so I am out of the shower, I'm moisturized, and after I did all of that, I washed my face with this La Roche-Posay cleanser, and I use this every morning, and I love it. It does have salicylic acid in it. I find that that helps me with having a clear complexion, but something that's been a game changer for me is this Spanish serum. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I use the vitamin C serum every morning, but this actually is vitamin C and vitamin E. Vitamin E is great if you have acne scarring, and I find it's just really evened out my complexion. I just add a couple drops every morning, kind of press it into my skin. It kind of keeps me hydrated, makes my skin a little bit brighter, and with the vitamin E, it's starting to even up my complexion, so it's actually so great. It's uh, great underneath makeup. On my photo shoot today, I won't have to worry about any peeling or anything like that. And then of course I'm going in with my tried and true Laneige sunscreen. I wear this every morning, SPF, love it. So today was light day, as you saw, and I did sweat a little bit, but not anything aggressive. So my hair is still clean, it's still fresh, and I'm just gonna brush it out. It's got a little bit of frizz to it, but you know, without any product, I think it's pretty good. And the hairstylist at the shoot will be able to work her magic. Good to go. Okay, so I'm just heading home from the photo shoot. It was a great day. I think the creative director got all of the shots that she wanted. So I'm very excited to see the final outcome, but I feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup and I have a lot of product in my hair. So I'm definitely looking forward to going home and washing it out. It's one of my favorite parts of the day because I don't wear a lot of makeup and it's just so lovely getting all of this off my face. So yes, headed home now. It's a nice sunny day. Excited to see my kids. It was another successful photo shoot. All right, let's do this. You can see just how much makeup I'm wearing. So definitely going to double or maybe even triple cleanse. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Cleansing Balm and go in with a healthy amount on dry skin. You can see it immediately melting all that makeup off and I want to rub it in for a good minute. Got some in my hair, that's fine. And I am just going to have to shower later because they put the foundation all down my neck and on my ears, which is normal. So I want to make sure I get that all off, but I'm just going to do this initial scrub so that I can get my kids supper. I'm ready to go. Muscleifying that and then rinsing it off. All right, already with just that feeling clean, but I'm gonna go in with my La Roche Posay micellar water cleanser. Do another cleanse. Just gonna moisturize. I'm not gonna go in with my retinol or anything since I'm gonna shower later. Thank you so much for watching my video and joining along. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for now.